cloning uh, for Asian Pacific uh, friends. Uh, uh, first of all, I want to thank uh, uh, Asian Pacific Oracle User Group community uh, for the invitation for 2018 webinar. So as a uh, last year, uh, as I did last year, so for 2018, I will be giving three presentations. This is the first one. Uh, the topic for this presentation is uh, Oracle Cloud for Oracle DBA and uh, developers. And uh, on on uh, July 20th, uh, on August 2nd, I will be giving second my second presentation, which is uh, uh, Oracle Upgrade, Oracle 12C, uh, uh, 12C or 18C Upgrade. My third uh, presentation will be on August 17. Uh, the topic will be um, uh, Virtualized Oracle Database on Oracle VM or uh, VMware. So now, now let's, let's start with uh, the first presentation. So first, just a brief introduction. I'm from our EMC Oracle engineer team. I'm the technical lead of uh, this. Uh, so I've been working on industry for almost mainly fo focusing on Oracle database to spend time on virtualization and the cloud. Speaking on um, uh, uh, IT, IT or Oracle conference in last, uh, and and I, I I'm the co-founder and uh, also board member for G Cloud Computing SIP, which I'm gonna get at the end of our presentation. And uh, uh, the thing I want to mention is uh, the Oracle Rec 18C uh, that is going to public. So maybe third, uh, fourth quarter of this year. That's something I'm currently working on. So that's a little bit. Uh, so uh, this is my work. So what I do, if somebody asks me, you know, uh, this uh, we we build the infrastructure. Uh, we build the uh, the infrastructure to uh, help customer to run Oracle database. So you, as you can see, this infrastructure is a, one of the typical infrastructure. We started with bottom with uh, storage, ne uh, fiber channel network, and uh, uh, as, as SCSI network. Now, of course, we also have a server uh, uh, for for compute. And, and, uh, and also, that's also Oracle database uh, is hosting. Then we also implement a, a different uh, 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 various kind of uh, virtualization. So we we did a Oracle VM. We also did a, a VMware. So that's basically meet a uh, different customer need. And on top of that, we also uh, have the Oracle uh, the uh, mainly focus on uh, uh, Oracle running on Linux. Uh, so that's a typical infrastructure uh, that we put together. We we not only validated this infrastructure, we also provide uh, the performance study. To show that to show customer, if you uh, put it, if you put this type of infrastructure together to to run Oracle database, what kind of performance, uh, what kind of scalability, what kind of uh, habitability you can expect from this uh, environment? Uh, so this is one of the the product deliver. So with some uh, uh, three different configuration depending on their their business need. They could start with a small config and then and, and, and then gradually move to a medium config. Or if they have a larger uh, database environment, for example, the case we test is uh, if customer has a uh, uh, kind of database or private cloud, database cloud environment, so they can utilize this kind of larger config uh, configuration to consolidate multiple database. In this case, we actually test the performance by uh, uh, by consolidating fifty database, um, and each database is it run on multiple on two node rack, and uh, each database on running on their own virtual machine. So, uh, 
and uh, we also put a backup solution. So, so, so for the customer who running bigger database, uh, uh, we can help them to reduce the backup time uh, by only backup the changes. So this is the product called EMC product called, product called Data Domain. So uh, this product allow us customer to backup the 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 change, but they uh, but uh, but they can actually can restore the ent entire database, but only backup changes. So for more information, we actually have white paper. Okay, that's uh, myself. What is uh, my uh, daytime? But uh, I spend mo most of the time uh, weekend or uh, or, uh, or nighttime to study Oracle technology and also share my experience with the community. So of course, uh, uh, webinar or presenting conference, that's one of the, my way to share my experience with community and also learn from community. So so the topic today is uh, Oracle Cloud. So in this, in this presentation, I will cover some of the Oracle Cloud, a public cloud offering, uh, what kind of technology behind it, the cloud. And uh, we're also going to show um, uh, how you can, how as a DBA or as a developer, how you can uh, go to Oracle Cloud to provision your database service. So for DBA, you can help uh, your developer to to provision a uh, test database, development database, or even production database. If you are a developer, if you want to um, write some application, uh, even you know, if at any given time, if your DBA is too busy, they cannot have time to help you. Or if you just don't have a, uh, uh, for the beginning of a project, if you just don't have a budget to buy the infrastructure, you can go to our cloud provision uh, a small or medium sized development database and, uh, and starting writing code. And whether or not you want to use that for production, uh, of obviously they give you the option. You also can continue use that to run a production. Or if you if you want, if you also can move to your uh, uh, own data 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 uh, a data center. But definitely the cloud will give a developer a quick start, so that you really don't have to wait uh, the whole process to provision database. As we know, usually in the IT department, uh, to get in the database. Uh, before you, your developer can get it, your own database, it will go through many, many different uh, routes. You should start with uh, uh, infrastructure purchasing, storage purchasing, will go through the hardware config, uh, Linux OS installation, and the DBA database installation, and, uh, and finally, um, you can create your own schema and uh, run your, uh, your application. But if you use Oracle Cloud, you can skip all this. You can just go to Oracle Cloud, provision a small database. I'm going to show you actually the provision a database for your development only takes about as short as a half hour or even shorter. So you really don't have to wait the whole process to, to do that. So that's a, one of great advantage. So but uh, I want to start with, uh, we all focus will be database cloud, but I also want to give a little bit of introduction about uh, the, the, the overall the cloud or public cloud service, all the kind of offering, the, the entire spectrum of the cloud service. So in, essentially, uh, you probably, uh, if you go to our uh, website, you probably got a lot of information overloaded. But I can show you that uh, you, there's something you actually can uh, sell, uh, study yourself uh, uh, by by understanding the main offering of cloud. So essentially, the Oracle Public Cloud offer, for my understanding, is Oracle Cloud mainly give you three different level of service, uh, starting with the infrastructure service. Uh, so basically, infrastructure services Oracle give you the infrastructure, provide infrastructure such as uh, server, networking, storage. 
and if you anything else, so you going you get infrastructure, then you you go in offer, and then you're gonna deploy your database, and you're gonna uh, deploy your application. So the, that layer is just infrastructure, nothing else. Uh, but uh, if you let's say uh, the one we just mentioned, uh, if you want to get a little bit more, so let's say I don't really care about the infrastructure. Um, as a developer, I want to have a platform to, to develop my application. I want to have some basic services such as database or web logic, this kind of a middle, middle, middle tier. Then you need to get another level of service called a platform as a service. Obviously, database is one of the, this type of a platform as a service. In that, in that sense, you not only get an infrastructure service, you also get a some of uh, middleware, middleware such as database or web logic, uh, sitting on top of infrastructure service. Then you can start a development application. So that's the next level. If you are some business user, uh, you you want to leverage uh, some existing software such as Oracle ERP application, you you pile stack, including infrastructure platform. You need Oracle database as a platform as a service, but you also need to run an ERP application. In this case, you probably want to get a software as a service. And uh, Oracle, as a matter of fact, Oracle put uh, almost all the Oracle software into this software as a service. So you really don't have to install, not only don't have to install infrastructure, you don't need to install database, uh, you don't need to buy a database license, you also don't need an ERP because Oracle will provide this for you uh, as a return of course you you you're not gonna own the stack uh, you're gonna pay for by the service by sub, sub, subscription base so for example by monthly or by how many uh, how, how much power like how many users you run this application and how much CPU you need to run application so this gave you three level of the service. So when you think about the Oracle, use, use Oracle public cloud, you have to, you have to uh, see, you have to make some determ determination based on your business need. So if you have a various team, you can develop, you have your own database team, but only see structure, you can go to infrastructure, uh, based on need. So, let me give you a little bit more detail about that. So for example, infrastructure, as we mentioned, that this is what you get. You can get a computer a server. You also get a networking. Uh, uh, of course, uh, you also get a lot of uh, 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 some kind of fast connected. So let's see if you want to run application on cloud, you need a very fast networking. So this is particularly important if you, let's say if you want to migrate your database from your private private cloud, private, your data center to a database to Oracle Cloud, definitely you need a fast connected. And also you also need a lot of, uh, 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 the, so you need to make sure that your database connectivity, your connection from your data Oracle Cloud is secure. So uh, this is all offered by infrastructure as a And uh, this also infrastructure as a service is also the base for next. Uh, next level is uh, platform as a service. One of the big service is Oracle database. They also provide you uh, like, for example, Hadoop. So if you don't, if you don't have Hadoop installed in your system, your data center, you can use it. The Hadoop. You, if you, uh, for example, uh, if you want to run MySQL, you can come to the uh, uh, plat platform as a service to to get a, to get a uh, MySQL database service. This is just an example. Uh, if you want running some uh, bigger data anal uh, data analytic analytical uh, application, then you you can leverage BI or BI. In this case, all BI is is can be treated as the, as a platform, so you can you can use the Oracle BI as a tool. Then you can develop a more business application on top of Oracle BI. 
So this is just an example. And of course, if you want to use some ERP application or CRM application, and, uh, uh, this is what you can get. So you can, you can, if you see this list, they simply cover a lot of application. Uh, so by leveraging those, you really don't have to configure. You can, you can, you can implement a business logic. Uh, ERP application, then so then basically you leverage by using this layer, not only leverage software service, you also leverage platform as service, also running Oracle Cloud. And underneath the infrastructure is you are using this. So that's 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 how my interpretation about this three layer Oracle public cloud service. So let's develop a probably most of the interest cloud. So I, I did some Oracle ERP application before, but the scope mainly on Oracle database. So I spend most of the time the Oracle database cloud service. So so basically, Oracle database cloud service by using Oracle service, you will get a platform Platform as a service, as a, uh, infrastructure as a service, because they are bonding together. So that do, you need to understand that. And by deploying the Oracle database service, your database is running on Oracle hardware on Oracle data center for most cases. But there's an express ex exception because offering the cloud machine that you can take to run your own data center. For that case, the cloud machine is owned by Oracle, or run by Oracle, managed by The only thing they use is use your data center space, use your data center electricity, nothing else. Uh, probably network, because uh, you, they're gonna use your, your your network infrastructure. But uh, underneath the infrastructure, like, uh, like for example, the database, the, the uh, a cloud machine owned by Oracle and managed by Oracle, and uh, and for that, so no matter if you use a database cloud machine which is running on lab, uh, your data center, database cloud service which is in Oracle data center, this is your know, so you can choose uh, you want to what you want to use the support eleven or 12CR1, 12CR2, all the way to 12C, uh, 18C. Also, so, which we're going to cover, they have a many different uh, combinations, different version of software, and, and a different uh, deployment option, rack, non rack, and uh, all different things. Yeah, and, uh, and also, they also present you a lot of uh, security as access. That's important. We're going to discuss. Because by having the Oracle database running, on how to access that? How can you move your data between back forth between cloud and data or data center? That's bigly important. And how your developer can remote access in the cloud by using some of the tools, some, for example, SQL Net, or SQL Navigator, uh, SQL SQL Developer. Those are very important. And 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 uh, security, uh, and uh, and uh, one nice thing about this is uh, if you're running Oracle database cloud service, you don't have to worry about a patch patch for you. Uh, at least for one of the option. But as, as we mentioned, the Oracle cloud gave database cloud service has different option. Some option they only give you an OS. Then you manage your database. If for that sense you have the patch yourself, but if you just Request the, you don't manage your database, Oracle manage database for you, patch database for you, then you don't have to worry about the patching. So that's why, because Oracle provides you so many different options, it is important for DBA or developer understanding this option, find the best option to meet your business need. And honestly, to, to be honest, those options also, I also got very confused. 
Another challenge I found when studying Oracle Cloud is Oracle keep changing. So the, the for example, some of slide I this slide was I got the last year, and 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 then three months three months after that things has been changed, and and the way we did it before, some of uh, the way we, we use uh, the old way that we use Oracle Cloud no longer valid. Of so you have to you have to watch it. This this is a constant change. So this is one of the change. So let's see how. So more, one of the important things to understand how Oracle Cloud database. So the, what option you use. So the one of the important thing is called a CPU. Actually, determine how what is your sub, sub, subscription fee. So you need to understand. So in this, uh, I listed. There's a two way to calculate. It's all we call Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Classic. So they gave you the you know, C3, C, C1. So they have a general purpose. OC high memory configuration, OC1M to OC5M. Uh, the old way. Then I think somewhere uh, uh, end of last year or fall of last developed this new uh, called a new infrastructure cloud uh, pattern model called OCI called Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. So the way to calculate is different. So you need, you need to understand that you need to, so by by before you determine your uh, what kind of cloud database cloud services you want to use. How, what kind of CPU uh, virtual on that? This is just CPU. O obviously, for database store, you also need to figure out uh, how much CPU you need. So the, the, each of these service provide a different capacity requirement. So that's something you need to uh, need to study. You need to actually understand the map. Then pick one you need. Because those are important, important to 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 the to your subscription fee important to your database. So you don't want to have like a, you run database initially. You uh, you don't want to uh, provision too small because you eventually will run over your also limit your performance. But you also don't want to provision too big because all the capacity is. Is uh, related to your uh, your uh, the, the pricing. So that was uh, uh, like a capacity service level. Uh, they also give you many different options. So one of the options is called a virtual image. So basically, they give you the OS, give you a virtual machine, and they also give you root access. Then you need to, you need to perform all the DBA tasks, including. Uh, Create a database, install Oracle software, create a database. So that's the one option. Second option is called a Oracle Database Cloud Service. Uh, these two are, the name is very close. The first one is a virtual image. The second one doesn't have even virtual image. What you got here, got here, everything from virtual image, but they also give you the pre-install, pre-install database, and also they provide a tool to automatically uh, do the backup patch. So this, the Oracle provide a lot of DBA uh, service for you. Uh, simply, there's no DBA service. The second one, Oracle basically provide a lot of DBA service for you. That's something you need to de determine. So if you don't have DBA uh, uh, scale, you mainly developer, you probably want to pick second one. But if you pick a second base, it's a, you don't, you probably don't have much choice, and don't have much uh, 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 pick. You know, uh, the selection. So this is the. But if you first choice, if you have DBS gear, you can do whatever you want. And uh, so, and uh, uh, this is second wise database option. You that's something you want to consider. So into. Uh, uh, software edition, uh, you also can pick. 
uh, standard edition and uh, and the enterprise edition, and there's uh, two, uh, three enterprise edition. The the last two is called high performance and, and are extremely high performance. Those are very similar to the to the software license, mainly the extreme performance. They include a lot of uh, uh, different options, such as uh, um, partition option, the rack options. So that's that's important. You need. And uh, of course, database type. So this kind of software edition and the database type, they are actually mixed. So, so that's how, because each of the selection, uh, when you, before, the reason why I want to mention this is uh, before you go start provisioning your database, database service ask you to make selection. And uh, of course, each selection is related to your so let's say if you if you don't want a rack, you don't have to pay for rack. Then you suddenly you don't have uh, some of extreme performance option because the extreme performance option, the license fee not license fee so much higher than the regular enterprise edition. So that's something. You And as we mentioned, they have uh, all different numbers package. So, uh, so you need to make selection. Second thing is uh, something called a bare metal. So all the previous uh, option we discussed is a virtual image base. So basically, database service they give you virtual, uh, which means share your database service. You share your physical machine with uh, somebody else. Could be other companies' database. Your database could run same for other company database. Could be, but if you don't want that, uh, you can you can make a determination. Say I want to run bare metal, which means it's bare metal advantage is nobody you basically occupy that you dictate you occupy nobody will have the service for you. And also, in bare metal, Oracle actually put a lot of advanced uh, technology with bare metal, such as an NVMe drive, which is high performance drive. And give, if you require a lot of uh, 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 high performance, this is something you, you want to consider. High IO option you want to consider. So, And uh, yeah, so we, we have talked about that is uh, all of this is based on standard Linux machine, but all add X data into cloud service, which is the next level. No longer um, uh, uh, this is an X data machine. So basically, you basically uh, give you a choice that you run database on, on X data machine, but you so your underneath hardware is Linux is the X data machine, which could virtual machine. So your your database still on running on virtual machine, but the virtual machine is on top of the X data machine. So so that's a, yeah. And the last one, which is the newest the new latest Oracle autonomous data warehouse. So uh, a cloud is designed to run latest uh, ATC data warehouse cloud. So they give you a lot of new uh, new technology. And it's only designed to run data warehouse. I believe Oracle is also make OTP type of uh, autonomous data warehouse cloud, but it has not been as I know. But this is only for database, uh, data warehouse database. What happened? Oracle will fully manage this for you, so you you don't have to you don't have to. They all not only that they actually have a lot of uh, 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 very building feature that's designed for data warehouse uh, uh, for business analytics. Uh, uh, so that is a very critical piece.
Yeah, so some of, uh, so for example, optimize query performance, and uh, and uh, and uh, they they have a lot of to, for you to do business analytical, uh, analytical an analysis. Uh, so that's a uh, one of the area. A uh, lot of people probably will con get a con so uh, uh, between the the Oracle autonomous they are the 18C. So this special option is using 18C, but uh, it does is equal to 18C. 18C, 18C itself this uh, autonomous feature. The lot of autonomous feature implement here for their warehouse. We didn't see, so for example, you already have Oracle just this week. I believe this they announced the uh, 18C uh, software, general software is a bit. You can load it in your machine and run your, your, your machine. That 18C has those autonomous feature. And uh, the, you have to, we have this is uh, only for this option. Uh, most of this uh, autonomous feature are not available. On. So 18C doesn't does not equal to autonomous. There's a lot of people gonna com gonna confused. So okay, so those are the kind of in introduction about uh, Oracle Cloud Service. Many couple. Three different layer and that will be what's on the Oracle database. Okay, so yeah, I think somehow uh, slide got a. Let's see. Okay, let me sh restart sharing again. I think uh, some of the slides. Are... I just got to. So I want to make sure everyone can see it. Okay, let's uh, let's let me go back a little bit uh, on the previous slide that was not showing. Sorry about that. Uh, So, okay, so quick go through this slide. So, seven was uh, uh, three different offering, and uh, slide, slide eight is uh, IAS, I nine is a uh, platform as a service, mainly a database as a service. Uh, slide 10 is software as a service. And uh, now we talk about uh, all different kind of uh, uh, offering on the database uh, cloud. And uh, then different uh, CPU uh, setting for the database cloud. So we talk about uh, uh, all the infrastructure, uh, cloud infrastructure classic and the new Oracle cloud infrastructure, which is OCI. A different storage capacity selection and uh, different service level you have you also manage the database cloud service or of course uh, all different database software version and uh, you can uh, uh, performance level or uh, software addition level you also can select a different database uh, architecture Instance, uh, single instance cluster, back cluster, or data gal without data gal combination. 
and uh, and also we we'll talk about the bell metal. So with a high I/O performance, you can pick a uh, bare metal with some latest uh, storage technology, such as NVMe drive, which give, provide a high IOP and low latency uh, storage. And uh, and uh, and of course, uh, you also can pick an X uh, for uh, as the basic infrastructure for your database service. And the last thing we we'll mentioned there is a autonomous data warehouse, which is AC, but uh, ATC does not equal to uh, autonomous data warehouse. So that's something we cover. Sorry about that. So, and uh, yeah. So hopefully we, it's okay. Hopefully we can go a little bit more smooth. So now, now let's see, uh, I will give you an example to show how to provision uh, uh, database as cloud service. So, so concept for starting with the database cloud service is the essence each key. As you know that, so when you use the Oracle database cloud service, it's running uh, um, the Oracle data center, but you are accessing that database from your own laptop, from your own corporate network. So, so, so you are talking about that your network has to go through the uh, your local network go to van or go to the Oracle data center. So that's why it is important that we keep this data networking insecure. So the one way to implement that is to implement a security key, SSH key. So so when you connect to your database, well, let's say if you want to connect the database or connect the OS, the SSH OS to the to the to the to the operating system in cloud. You just, you're not going to just use the regular SSH. You have to include the, the key. The way we do that is uh, the SSH key has a two. It's a pair. There's a private part or, or public part. It's a private key or pu public key. So the way we do that is uh, we put a public key in the cloud. Then your own you hold your own private key, and uh, and uh, the private key and the pub public key is kind of one to one match. So, so only you that has that private key can access that private public key. So that's important. You you need you begin in the beginning of the uh, uh, the provision the service. You need to create that kind of pair, and then when you create your database service, you as part of a database service creation, you provide your public key into that database service, and then next time. Uh, when the database service finish is is built, next time when you access that database service, you need to use the private key to SSH box, or you use a SQL Navigator, SQL Net to connect to, uh, and that network connection has to carry your public key, your private key, so that you can access to the the database on database uh, database or database uh, o, uh, OS on the private cloud. So. So this the one way to do that. Obviously, there's many different way to create this key. So one easy way is use a party called party gen. It's kind of a similar product. Uh, use a party gen. I'm just show you the the screenshot. So you create it. You run party gen. You just click this generate key. This will give you a pair. And uh, and that has two part: public part and uh, public key and private key. And then, yeah, public, public key is just a, which you actually can cut paste into you, the inside database creation, database service creation. There's a box for you to actually cut paste this text. Then you keep your own private key, PP key, key in your laptop or in your database, or your client machine. Which you, next time when you try to connect to the database service, you need. A, you need to upload this PP key, key in your SS, SSH tool, such as the party. So yeah, so you can see the public key is really a text format. And then, yeah, when you create that, you can save this key. You can save it in the text file. You also can create it. You can also put a, uh, yeah, this. Uh,
And then next time when you when you try to log into the host, uh, you need that key. So, yeah. Okay. Now let's. I'm just go through some screenshot. Uh, how you how easy it is. So first you need to get a trial account or you need to get a subscription from Oracle Cloud service. They will give you, what I did is I, I got a trial account. And, uh, and then they also give you sign your domain. So in each in, in each part of the world, they gave you, depending on where you live, they actually gave you the domain, which is actually physical location of the of a database service. Uh, the, 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 the physical location related to physical location of the the, the data center that hosts your uh, database cloud service. In this case, uh, my I was giving the U.S. commercial too. So mainly it's the U.S. Uh, central central times uh, central time zone. So you log in, then you you just click. Uh, I want to click uh, click uh, click. I want to create instance. So then then. The, so they give you a choice uh, because, uh, as we mentioned, uh, there's many instances. You can create a computer instance. You can create a Java instance. So if you want to do database, you select here and say, I want to create a database service. Then, so create a database service, there are multiple, there are two options for you. Uh, one is called quick start. The uh, second is uh, 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 quick start basically give you three different uh, options. Standard enterprise uh, extreme performance option. This is pretty much fixed. So you just pick one of them. And the uh, nice thing about this is uh, because it's, the, the, it's a fixed, it's easy, you know. In first time, if you, you, want, if you want to try, uh, you don't want to get lost about too many combination, which we just discussed. This give you just like a menu. If you go to a restaurant, it give you fixed three different uh, menu, you, you just pick. So. Uh, and uh, in this case, I pick a extremely performance. You could you could pick a small one too, but uh, once you get familiar with this process, especially if you understand the all different option, then you don't have to go through this quick start. There's a you can you can go through regular channel, and uh, which allow you to put put a different combination. For example, just like you go to restaurant, you don't want to go through the menu. You can go to the basically go to back back in the kitchen. You can pick you know I want this different sauce. I want different 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 vegetable. So that but those that require more more understanding about the cloud. But first before beginning, this is probably easy way to, for you to do. Just pick one. And uh, uh, as we mentioned, uh, uh, you could uh, you could use. Uh, you could use uh, uh, party chain to create a key by yourself, but also Oracle Cloud also also allow you to create a key here. So you, you have a choice. Uh, uh, if you already have a key, you don't worry, have to worry about it. If you don't have a key, if you want to use this tool, you can. Yeah, you can you you can use this option to download the key. So basically, when you say download a key, Oracle Public Cloud will create a key for you. So create this zip file. Inside the zip, there's a public key and a private key. Then you use the private key during the rest of uh, yeah. So so here, yeah. So so this is the option. So you then you submit it because in the beginning you already make a choice. Say option. Uh, which they already get, so you don't have to make any choice. Uh, so it's, it's, you just submit it. So when you when you click uh, create instance, that's how Oracle Cloud public uh, uh, private cloud a uh, public cloud engine will create this service for you. So usually it depend on in this case because I select uh, which you require a lot of database and also more CPU. More storage. It took me quite a while. And uh, last time I remember, it took me more than one uh, this database. But uh, because this is kind of a big size. But uh, I also, yeah. So this, uh, 
this is what you see, this is the window you see. They are creating the instance, you just watch and see, they will show you it's in progress. Once they finish, they give you the statuses, they tell you database is, is already created. So this is two node, they give you two node and, uh, and a two database instance name. The important thing is you need to remember this IP, which also in the end it will give you, this is the IP you're gonna use to connect. This is the IP you're gonna use to to for your SQL navigator or for your SSH uh, connection. And also same for SID. So in this way, you can pretty much treat this database running your own data center. Uh, yeah, so even this is a, a geological, this is a far away, but, but think about your DBA or even your DBA, your developer, you don't see your database box. Same way as this, the only difference is this is not sitting in your data center. But either way, you don't see your box. The only thing you see is the host name and database name, that's it. And that's all you need to create a database. And I also tried to use the 18C. So I'm actually, in this case, I did not use the, the quick, quick star. So I'm actually using the regular channel. So, but you, you probably can see, because of this, I have to fill out a lot of information. And uh, this also allow me to create my own key. This is a different way to create a key. Like this one, so, yeah, this is actually, in this case, I actually pre-create pre a security key. Here, I'm just copy paste it here. So that's where you actually uh, uh, install, uh, install your own public key into a database, then uh, once you create that with this key, then the only way to get into this database is to use your private key, which is a link, which is a pair of this key. No, no, no other key will allow you to connect to this database. That's why you don't want to lose your, your private key. And uh, yeah, so this is how they create it. And uh, this one take a much short time. Uh, you could probably can see, yeah, they submit it. And, and uh, I submitted this too in, in the back of the back, but uh, actually the, uh, this database, the 18C database was, was much quicker to complete. So this also already created. This is still, I think this is still uh, creating, yes. Yeah, so this screen show, uh, this, 18C database is already created, uh, but uh, but uh, my 12C database even was created was the uh, creating process even started much earlier than the 18C uh, because it's a big capacity. You can see this database is quite small, storage 150 gig. This was a two terabyte database. It's much bigger. It's two no more CPU. It took longer to 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 create it. So let's see. This is almost half one hour difference than one hour to complete. I remember this database took about two hours, even more longer to, to create. But underneath, uh, the one thing I want to mention is, uh, so the, this GUI is actually very simple, create database is very simple. Underneath, how Oracle, how is it possible, possible for Oracle to do that? The underneath, this is something I presented before. So we'll probably this will help us to understand. So the way Oracle could do that is Oracle has this Oracle template, database template. The, the virtual machine and database template, they already store that. that so basically you have database machine, uh, you shut down it and you store it safe as a template, uh, which is a template and a virtual machine. Uh, one is static, one is dynamic. It's pretty much the same thing. But, uh, Previously, Oracle created this database for you and uh, on a virtual machine and, uh, and packaged this into the virtual machine and uh, store in the template. Then, uh, when you request this service, Oracle basically take the template and, uh, uh, and activate that template to form the virtual machine. So that's why it's so, so, so quick. The only thing that take that long was because uh, they actually have the copy, especially if you have a huge uh, storage, they actually have to make a copy of the virtual machine and, uh, and uh, duplicate the virtual machine and, and uh, form the 
uh, duplicated, uh, they have to copy the image from the template to form the virtual machine. So the time you spend on the create a virtual machine is simply is copy the disk. So that's it's that simple. So that's why if you have bigger footprint of database, it will take longer to 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 to, to create it. But uh, nobody in the behind it to manually run DBCA for you. It's all automatically because the database has been created and it's just storing somewhere. And, and then when you request it, they just activate it, that database. That's it. That's this the Oracle, the reason Oracle did that technology was there's something called a self-service portal. So basically you 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 request this service on self service portal, self service portal, go back to find the virtual machine template and use that virtual te machine template to create a virtual machine for you. And not only to create it, they also start it. That's why you see this. So that's something I want to share. Uh, this, uh, if you know, for our, for our technical people, we don't want to see this step. We want to understand what is behind it. So that's why the most database the call service is based on virtual machine. Without a virtual machine, it's difficult to provision this. Obviously, we mentioned there's a bare metal piece. The bare metal, uh, if you request the database service running on bare metal machine, on physical machine, then the way that implement is different because they don't have virtual machine. So they have to, the Oracle probably develop some kind of automated installation process to install the Oracle software on bare on physical machine for you. But uh, the one I'm doing right now is a virtual machine. If you got, all you got is virtual machine, I would definitely think this is based on the virtual machine, the 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 technology, the 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 template technology. Sorry, yeah, yeah, we are, we are. We are in slide uh, 34. So, okay. Yeah, so now we have a database service. Uh, we only have 10 minutes left, but I want to show how to use that. What is the DBA task you need to do? What are the developer task you need to do? So think about it, you have database service uh, so we mentioned that this database is running somewhere. In this case, it's running on data center, but there's no difference between the database running on your own data center because you're not going to touch the physical machine. In this sense, it's the same. So you still have the remote access to the database. The only difference is the database is not in your private network. So which means that you have to go through a little bit more, uh, do more, you have to do a little bit more work to access the database. The one thing is the IP, the public IP. So it's not going to be your own database uh, IP because, for example, if you're running uh, uh, your own data, database, uh, if you're running database service on your own data network, you probably have a fixed IP. That's something you are so familiar with that. But this IP is not, this actually, the, 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 this IP is something inside of Oracle. Uh, which if you just regularly use a ping, you're not going to ping this IP. So, but uh, but uh, you are you are you should be able to access that use party. So, so the one thing we have figured out is uh, we have to see if we can get database server. The second thing is that we we want to be able to actually access the database. So. So first thing is the, how to get this server. So if a uh, task, I want to be able to uh, access H to a database, that's what, what I do. So we put this IP, so we, choose, we take this IP 129, put it into uh, this party. But what? one thing that is default security key, the public key, the private key, you normally don't do in on if database was on our own data center. If a database was also on data center, we just put IP, which is SSH to it, use the username and password. In this case, you have to load your private key. If we don't put this private key, you, your connection will be uh, rejected. So once you put the key, 
you can, this is actually the screenshot. Uh, so this are SSH to the database box that is on the Oracle data center. From here, if you're DBA, you know what to do. You can, if you want to shut down database, you want to do any DBA task. That's pretty much it. And this, you can think about it. This is the database server running your data center. Rest of the story is no difference uh, at all between uh, from the, the database that you're running your database center. So that, so if you want to, yeah, so you want to do some DBA work, that's what you do. Rest of it is exactly the same as the regular database running your own data center or your public, public cloud. And uh, yeah, so if you want a database, you know, for example, your application you want to access data, I'm here to pick a DNS name entry. And, uh, and obviously it's machine generated. So it's a little bit, you have to copy this whole thing to your, to your, uh, to your client machine. So let's say if you have a SQL navigator, uh, like, yeah, you go, if you have SQL navigator, this is actually how you use a SQL navigator, a SQL developer, so to develop. So let's say if you have a, a SQL developer running your laptop, you want to uh, start writing the code. Uh, this is all you need to do in your SQL, uh, uh, in your SQL uh, developer uh, configure connection stream. Obviously, you can test it. Then once you connect it, you see exactly this. This is a database. You can you can go to open the table. You can start writing the query. You can start dropping table, add query tables. So so in this sense, there's no much difference from the database running your own data center. Uh, this is, so you can think about if you're a developer, spend a thirty minute provision a small database on database cloud. Then you use the SQL Navigator. Uh, to connect it, you can start your database application development. Yeah, so you can open all the tables. So yeah, uh, you can write your own store procedure. So that that is the so for DBA developer, I really don't see how, uh, from what you have been doing. Uh, uh, now I want to talk about a little bit a different topic. So let's say if you have database, I was running my own environment. I want to move this database, migrate to database cloud. Or I have something that I'm already running on database cloud. I did some development. I want to move back. So definitely it's possible. So you can, you can basically uh, use the, the uh, action string, you can do uh, input uh, uh, the data pump to basically loss, and uh, and uh, and uh, you can use data pump. You also can use uh, trans because why once you enable the SSH, you also can use uh, you can secure copy. You can copy the file, and uh, you also if your option would be you also can do plug and plugging. So let's see. If you have database, trust database on your own database, running your own data center, you can unplug the data and 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 move to the the database in the cloud, uh, PDB into the cloud. So that's another option. So, but uh, this is pretty much the same uh, as you, you did for the uh, the data uh, inside your data center, uh, but obviously. The same as database migration, you are also have to think about a lot of character set prop, database version, character set, and uh, and and uh, OS. Like for example, if you migrate your database from Linux on data on data center to uh, uh, migrate database uh, Linux uh, on the Unix machine on your data center, move to database on the database cloud. You have to be aware of that the database running a database cloud. Pretty much, it's all of them database uh, is running on Linux, no Unix platform, I believe, uh, unless they put a some 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 machine. But most likely, it is database is Linux machine. So you have to worry about the Indian, big Indian, small Indian, 
especially if you're running your database on a Unix machine. Let's say if your database is running on you know, AX on your own data center, you want to migrate that database into the cloud, then you have to do the big Indian or small Indian conversion. This is the same as you did it uh, uh, for Unix to Linux migration in your own data center. And uh, another thing uh, I'll mention a little bit is, uh, let's see if you have one wrong backup. And obviously, probably it's not a very good choice database uh, from cloud to your own backup device uh, because the, the, the network delay and also long distance, probably not a good idea. So you probably want to backup your database on the cloud and the Oracle uh, provide this backup service. So as a part of the infrastructure, as a service, Oracle provide a storage uh, for you to run backup. So that's something you want you you have to keep in mind. What especially if you want to run uh, your production database on the cloud, you definitely want to think about a, a backup. The nice thing about this is uh, uh, this is already set up for you, so you can pretty much run a very similar way to run backup. Uh, uh, for and backup on the cloud. And uh, in this case, it will be backup database from backup of the database from one one server node to another uh, uh, backup storage on cloud. Uh, and uh, because they are all in the physical location or something close by, and uh, and uh, and, uh, and the performance should be should be much better than you backup to your own data center. You know, the, probably it's not very very recommended. To Oracle actually recommended. Use the backup service to backup your database in your own data center, which I also adopted. Uh, so if you have your own database in your data center, you backup your local. But in this case, if you have your own data, if you have database running on cloud, probably makes sense to backup database on the cloud. So don't want to run backup across the cloud and your local, local data center because that's just uh, because the backup require very high network bandwidth. So that's something you want to keep in mind. Yeah, that's the, uh, the content I want to cover. The last thing I want to just want to show you, uh, if for those people who are interested in cloud, it has this uh, uh, the cloud compute interest group uh, that you can come to the IOG cloud web link to sign up. There are a lot of material in that. Uh, you know, and uh, we also uh, every every major Oracle conference, such as Oracle Open War and Oracle uh, uh, Collaborator Conference, we normally set a kind of hands-on lab, uh, which we already did uh, three years. Uh, we have a Oracle uh, Cloud hands-on lab, which give you a lot of uh, 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 first-hand experience to try cloud. And, uh, and uh, we actually have uh, uh, people from user community as well as the Oracle Cloud team to, to actually on site to help us you know, to answer any question or basically just show you step by step to get in the cloud. So today as I, I, I just show very quick uh, uh, how we did that, but, uh, but, uh, but it's better for you if, if you want to try something, it's better for you to actually put, put your, own, your hands on that. To try that, and the one way to do that is to get an Oracle Cloud free prescription service. You can try that, or you can come to this lab. So we actually have this lab every half year. Uh, you come to sign up this lab, and uh, this lab, for example, last time we have a whole almost uh, uh, back to April when we had a collaborative conference. We actually had a, about a eight hours hands-on lab uh, cover not just database, we cover many different Oracle Cloud service. The content is very rich, and uh, we combine it with the, uh, uh, as well as a hands-on lab. So that's something you want to keep in mind. So, and uh, if you are not physical, not able to physical come to the conference, uh, also feel free to come to the, uh, the web uh, webpage to sign on and, uh, and uh, uh, 